Okay, welcome to Marriott MBA Today. I'm your host, Cassandra Wilson, and with me is one of our new core professors, Peter Madsen. So, Peter, I understand that you're going to be taking over the strategic HR class that right. uh, Dr. Bingham has traditionally taught. Can you tell us a little bit about your background? We haven't really seen you around. Yeah, I, uh, I've been at BYU almost eight years. In the fall, it'll be eight years. Um, and uh, I got my, I came to BYU straight after my doctoral program at University of California, Berkeley. UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley. So that's a pretty different campus from BYU. What's a big similarity that stood out to you between our two campuses? Business schools are pretty similar anywhere. So the business school there doesn't feel that different than the business school here. The campus overall feels very different. It's a very different vibe, but the business schools are, are not so different. So I think you have a joke that you can share with us to kind of demonstrate maybe one of the big differences between BYU and Berkeley. Yeah, th so there's a joke that circulates among the UC campuses. There's several UC campuses about how many students at the different schools it takes to screw in a light bulb. Uh, one of the, the let me just give you an example that's not Berkeley. Uh, the UC San Diego one is how many UC San Diego students does it take to screw in a light bulb? The correct answer is one. She holds up the light bulb and the world revolves around her okay. to screw it in. So that's, that's an example. The, the, the correct answer at Berkeley, how many UC Berkeley students does it take to screw in a light bulb, is 76. One to screw in the light bulb, 50 to hold a protest about the light bulb, and 25 to hold a counter protest. Okay. Yeah, so, so we don't see much protesting here at BYU. Um, so in your eight years here, um, where have you been? Uh, when I came, the immediate teaching need in our department was there's a course that's similar to the strategic HR class, but it's for the uh, MAC students and the MISM students. So I started teaching that my first semester, and I've been teaching it ever since. Uh, I taught an MBA elective for a while, the change management elective that Gib Dyer teaches now, uh, but most of my teaching has been in that MAC class. Great. So. What do you think the big difference is going to be, you know, going from the MAC and MISM students to a classroom full of MBA students first semester next year? Um, based on my experience teaching MBAs before, the MBAs obviously are a little older on average. The MISM students and MAC students go straight through into their master's program from their, their uh, bachelor's uh, with a lot more experience. Uh, so we tend to have better discussions. People have more that they can bring in, more uh, expertise that they can draw on, experiences they can draw on. The MAC students are a little less broad in that area. They're very good at numbers, very quantitative. Yeah, and I understand you have a very quantitative background coming from an undergrad in chemical engineering. And I've been in your HR analytics directed readings course and I've seen that skill demonstrated. So, you know, how do you plan to kind of incorporate that into strategic HR? Analytics is here to stay. It's a trend I everywhere, but in especially in HR. Um, so I'm, I'm in the class, I'm hoping to bring in a little bit more statistical analysis, uh, focus on that, uh, just to prepare people for that world. Uh, the, the days when you could work in HR without knowing how to do statistics are, are rapidly going away. Definitely, yeah, that's something I've seen as well. So that's good to hear that you're planning on adding even more of that to the, to the class. Um, you know, this core faculty, they have their own little things that they do. You know, McQueen has his dance, uh, Christensen has his multimedia and the YouTube video clips, and even Snow hands out chocolate at one point during class. So what are you going to do to stand out? One thing I like to do is start every class off with a joke of the day. So I might do a little bit of stand-up comedy, something about that. You don't want to see me dance. Dancing will not be part of my routine. Okay, so no dancing, but they will get quite a bit of humor in your class. That's the idea. Good, good. Are you going to open it up and maybe allow students to bring their own jokes, possibly for extra credit? Uh, I don't know about extra credit. I haven't thought about that, but I will be very open to people bringing in their own jokes. Back in the day, I used to just allow people to tell jokes without screening them first, and oh. I've kind of learned my lesson, so <laughs> I will ask people to, to tell them to me first and make sure their BYU pro people's views of BYU appropriateness apparently vary. Okay, fair enough. And before we let you go, share one thing that's not on your LinkedIn profile. Um, one thing that you might not know about me is uh, I've entered multiple eating contests, competitive eating contests, and I've never lost. I never would have guessed. All right, so look forward to some great jokes, uh, some very analytical strategic HR, and good times with Peter Madsen in his upcoming core class. It's great to have you join us, and we'll see you next time on Marriott MBA Today.